Good morning, everyone. This morning we're praying the glorious mysteries in the name of the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit, amen. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has begotten for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant, we beseech thee that while meditating upon these mysteries of the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise. Through the same Christ our Lord, amen. I believe in God, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day, this day our, our daily, daily bread, bread, and forgive, and forgive us, us our trespasses, trespasses as, we, as forgive. we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother, Mother of God, God pray, pray for, for us sinners. sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For hope, hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother, Mother of God, God pray, pray for, for us sinners, sinners now, now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Amen. For charity, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners, sinners now, now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, now, and ever shall, shall be, world without end. end. Amen. Amen. The first glorious mystery, the resurrection. You are a sign that God is alive. You must stand before the world as a witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus and a sign that God lives. In his infinite mercy and love, God made you one of his Easter people in holy baptism. Ask yourself this question, does Jesus Christ risen from the dead make all the difference in my life? Queen of heaven, rejoice because your son has risen as he foretold. May the risen Jesus be the light of my life, the joy of my heart my constant intercessor at the Father's right hand. May I be willing to suffer with Christ that I may be glorified with him. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, Give us this day, day our, our daily bread, bread and, and forgive us, us our, our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. And, and lead us not into temptation, temptation but, but deliver us from evil. evil. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners, sinners now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother, Mother of God, pray, pray for us sinners now, now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray, pray for us sinners, now and at and the hour of our death. death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, the world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. Amen. The second glorious mystery, the Ascension. The people of God are like those of Galilee who stood looking up to heaven. His people know that heaven is the holy city to which they journey as pilgrims. May all advance in hopeful joy, confident that God will keep his word and glorify them for all eternity. Dear Blessed Mother, I know by faith that Christ has opened the gates of heaven. He is even now preparing a place for each of his servants. Help us always with your maternal and merciful aid, dear Mother of God, that we may be faithful until we come to the glory of his presence. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, bread and forgive, forgive us our trespasses. trespasses as we, we forgive, forgive those who trespass, who trespass against, against us. us. And lead, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most need of thy mercy. Amen. The third glorious mystery, the coming of the Holy Spirit. There is a sense in which Pentecost is an ongoing miracle. Christ is continually sending his Spirit to make his followers better Christians, more effective witnesses, more authentic lovers of God and of God's children. The more receptive you are, the more the Holy Spirit will work in you and through you for God's glory and honor. Dear Blessed Mother, it was after the Holy Spirit first came upon you that the Son of the Most High took flesh and form within your chaste body. May I remember always that it is with your cooperation, together with the same Blessed Spirit, that Christ wills to be formed in me. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead, and lead us not into, into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners, sinners now, now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners, sinners now, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save, save us from, from the fires, fires of hell. Lead all, all souls to heaven, heaven especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. mercy. Amen. The fourth glorious mystery, the Assumption of Our Lady. As your thoughts turn heavenward, consider a few statements of the saints, St. Saint Bonaventure. The gates of heaven will open to all who confide in Mary's protection. St. Fugunitius, confidence in Mary is a ladder uniting heaven and earth and St. John Damascene, to serve the Queen of Heaven is already to reign there. Dear Blessed Mother, enthroned in the Father's kingdom, you reign gloriously with your Son, our Savior, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Pray for us that we may believe more firmly in the reality of heaven and desire it more earnestly. In death's hour, welcome us with your Son so that we may dwell with him forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most need of thy mercy. Amen. The fifth glorious mystery, the coronation of Our Lady. You have cause for rejoicing, cause for inexpressible joy, touched with glory, as St. Peter said. An imperishable inheritance is kept in heaven for you. A crown of glory awaits you. Every day brings you closer to your inheritance in the everlasting kingdom. Queen of heaven and earth, teach me how to apply the lessons of the, ris the rosary mysteries to my life. When my last rosary on earth is said, assist me with your maternal protection. May I safely reach the paradise where you reign with God forever. Please grant the loving help to all those for whom our blessed Redeemer purchased the rewards of eternal life. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mary Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners, now, now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners, sinners now, now and at the hour, hour of our death. Our death. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Hail hey, Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother, Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners, sinners now, now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Hail hey, Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most need of thy mercy. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. 
that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. St. Michael the Archangel, defend, defend us in battle. battle. Be our defense against the wickedness, against the wickedness and snares battle. of the devil. May, May God, God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
that soothes and heals the hurting, hands that break a loaf of bread, steps that walk beside the weary, bearing burdens in their stead. See He is risen. risen Welcome to Holy Spirit Parish as our rejoicing over Christ's resurrection extends to a second week. Whether lifelong member or first-time visitor, all who know their need for God have a place at this table. All the music you need for today's celebration is in our worship aid. If you did not get one, please go to one of the entrances now 
and get one. And, one. and please return Good them job. to the baskets at the entrances as you leave. Because we did not celebrate March birthdays and anniversaries on Easter Sunday, we will take a moment at the end of Mass to do so. Thank you all for put, who put a name tag on this morning, but even if you didn't, we welcome your help in growing our sense of community. In a moment, I will ask you to stand. When I do, go to someone you don't know and introduce yourselves. Then ask them to share a favorite memory from Holy Week. When you hear the piano start playing, please return to your seat for the opening song. Please rise now and meet that new friend. Good morning. Mass intentions for, for Gary. Gary. Yeah. Yes, yes. Okay. And this is our daughter from Marshfield. She was a goddaughter. How nice. And her daughter came. Yeah. Wow. You have other daughters, though? No, two sons. Oh, okay. A retired Marine of 22 years. And then our other son is in Green Bay, and he'll be retiring in September in law enforcement. And she's in the health camp. Wow. OBGYN. Much so. to be proud of, huh? Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm. They did it themselves. I, I <laughs> it doesn't <laughs> work that way. I know yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. No, we're very proud of them. Yeah. Very proud of them. Good morning. Grateful you're here today. I'll greet her too. Please join in singing our opening hymn morning, found morning. in your worship good aid, morning. number 12. Today's for Gary. Alleluia. Yes. Let the holy They're anthem the rise. Number 12 here. in your worship aid. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with if you're looking for a Mercy Sunday celebration, you want to head out to Polonia this afternoon where Father Todd is the keynote speaker. Here at Holy Spirit, we are continuing our Eucharistic revival work. We've been following Bishop Barron Advent Lent. We start his third chapter for this Easter season, and his opening line is, if it's just a symbol, then to hell with it. If the Eucharist is just a symbol, then we don't need it. 
Prepare your hearts again today for strong words as we turn in mind and heart to God. Lord Jesus. No mic. Let me try this again. <laughs> I'm good. All right. Lord Jesus, you ascended to the Father and gave us the gift of the Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, by the power of your cross, you draw all creatures to yourself. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the King of the universe, and your dominion lasts forever. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sin. Bring us to life, life everlasting. Amen. your invitation in a moment of silence to ask the Holy Spirit to come and fill this church. God of everlasting mercy, who in the very recurrence of the Easter feasts kindle the faith of the people you have made your own. Father, then increase today in us your grace that we may come to rightly understand in what waters 
we have been washed, by whose spirit we have been reborn, and by whose blood we have been redeemed. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The community of believers was of one heart and mind, and no one claimed that any of their possessions was their own, but they had everything in common. With great power, the apostles bore witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great favor was accorded them all. There was no needy person among them, for those who owned property or houses would sell them, bring the proceeds of the sale, and put them at the feet of the apostles, and they were distributed to each according to need. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Holiness, I will enter and give. 
give thanks. This is the Lord's own gate, the gate where the just may enter in. I will thank the Lord, I will thank you, Lord, for you hear and answer me. Alleluia, alleluia, for you hear and answer me. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. Alleluia, alleluia, has become the A reading from the letter, from, a reading from the first letter of Saint John. Beloved, everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ is begotten by God, and everyone who loves the Father loves also the one begotten by Him. In this way, we know that we love the children of God when we love God and obey His commandments. For the love of God is this: that we keep His commandments. And his commandments are not burdensome, for whoever is begotten by God conquers the world. And the victory that conquers the world is our faith. Who indeed is the victor over the world but the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? This is not the one who came through blood, water and blood, Jesus Christ, not by water alone, but by water and blood. The Spirit is the one that testifies and the Spirit is the truth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The disciples were afraid of the Jewish leaders, and on the evening of that same Sunday, they locked themselves in a room. That night the apostles met in fear, and Christ did And 
showed them his hands and his sides. When the disciples saw the Lord, they became very happy. After Jesus had greeted them again, he said, I am sending you just as the Father has sent me. Then he breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive anyone's sins, they will be forgiven. But if you don't forgive their sins, they will not be forgiven. Although Thomas the twin was one of the twelve disciples, he wasn't the other, with the others when Jesus appeared to them. When Thomas first the tidings heard, how they had seen. touch them with my finger. I must put on my hand where the spear went into his side. I won't do, I won't believe unless I do this. A week later, the disciples were together again. This time, Thomas was with them. Jesus came in while the doors were still locked and stood in the middle of the group. He greeted his disciples and said to Thomas, My wounded side, O Thomas, see. because you have seen me. The people who have faith in me without seeing me are the ones who are really blessed. Jesus worked many other miracles for his disciples, and not all of them are written in this book. But there are, there, but there are written so many that you have faith in Messiah, the Son of God, and you have faith in him. You will have truth.
How about that beautiful singing and reading? If it's just a symbol, to hell with it, says Bishop Robert Barron. Visitors back in Advent, we, we took on this Eucharistic revival the bishops of the U.S. are, are working on, and we started with this chapter one, the Eucharist is a sacred meal. And through all of Advent, we came to see that what's really going on here is God is drawing us back into that giving and receiving of love that God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit share. God created us that we might know the love and joy that they know within themselves. And that everything happening in this world is God trying to draw us back to that feast, get us back to his banquet table. Chapter 2, Bishop Barron begins, well, there will be no feast, there, there can be no communion without sacrifice. That, that I, that me, that my, that destroyed paradise has to go. And we give it away. Our feet get washed, we're loved back to life, and then we lay ourselves down to wash the feet of others, lost and hurt and pain and dysfunction. And in laying ourselves down, we discover, too, what we were created for. And in this third chapter, he, he now goes through every scripture passage that says you should believe that Christ is truly present. And after scripture, he goes through church history, the early fathers. This is what they believed. We should believe it too. He takes a deep dive in the medieval ages when, when Thomas Aquinas started talking about substance and form and developed this whole explanation about transubstantiation. You want to know what that's about? You read his chapter 3. It's not until the last two pages that he gets to the question I'm interested in. He asks, but what does this transformation of bread into body, wine into blood, practically mean? Forgive my Christmas, what, what difference does it make? What, what, what about, can we experience? What, what impact does it have on a person's life? that Christ becomes truly present. That's what I want to know. That's what I want to feel. That's what I want to experience. And, and to help us go there, he, to stretch our human nature to embrace the divine, he kind of stretches the English language. And in two pages that I hope are his introduction to his next book, he says, by the power of Christ in the Eucharist, we are Eucharisticized. We are Christified. We are eternalized. We are deified. All that the world might be transubstantiated. All right, lots of big words. I say we take one of those words each Sunday now of Easter and see if we can find something to sink our teeth into. And let's start with that word, we are Eucharisticized by the power of Christ in the Mass. Eucharisticized. I think if, 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 if somebody from South America, we have guests from South America today, if they sent their son or daughter to college in the United States and they came back wearing different clothes, talking differently, thinking differently, acting differently, wanting differently, dreaming differently, they'd say, oh, no. They've been Americanized, Americanized. They've become Americans. Eucharisticized would mean at least, whatever that would, would mean at least that Eucharist is not something you get. Eucharist isn't something you do. Eucharist is something you become. All of you. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a change of all of us. We remember St. Augustine's word from early on, receive what you are. 
become what you receive. That, that Eucharist is about us being changed. And it can't be just us. It, it's, it's the whole world. It's, it's all of life. Our work has to change. Our, our recreation has to change. Our school has to change. Our family has to change. If we are Eucharisticized. All right? I, I think we know this. I think we experience this quite regularly. We just maybe don't recognize it for what it is. You all, of course, when you have an Easter dinner or a Thanksgiving dinner or anniversary celebration at your house and the whole family comes, you know it's not about how good the pie turns out. You know it's not about how clean the house is. You know, the kids even know that it's not about who gets the first closest chair or who gets the biggest piece of meat. That's not what it's about. It's about this unseen giving life and receiving life. You know it's your job to make sure every child is hugged and kissed and told they're loved, that that soul in them will grow. You know it's your job to make sure you know something about each teenager that comes and you can say, wow, I'm really proud of you. You did a great job at that game or that piece of art you turned out is fabulous. I hope you'll make one for me. That their soul, the, the who they are, grows and strengthens and deepens. And young people, I hope you know that your job is not to get to the table the fastest. Your job is to make sure every elder in the room is listened to, respected, cared for. That they too, that, that soul in them would grow and strengthen even in advanced years. Is there not this, this outer world of things going on that you could get lost in? But in fact, there's something eternal going on. I think that's why when Jesus appears, he says, what you do here is happening in heaven. If you ignore something, if, if something is untreated, if something is unforgiven here on earth, it affects them for life, eternal life. But if you can wash somebody's feet, if you can wipe away a wound, if you can heal a division, you have done so in heaven as well. And, and so our whole life, work, play, everything, is really Eucharist. Is really this, this matter of giving life Receiving life, giving eternal life, receiving eternal life. Having your feet washed by another and you turning and washing the next person's feet. Healing, setting free, letting that giving and receiving of life and love grow deeper and stronger until we look like our, the church in the first reading. <clears throat> Everything was shared in common. There was not a poor person among them. The power of God was at work in them. That, that comes as the, the giving and receiving grows deeper and stronger in a body of believers. And if we're not there, if we're not seeing that, if we're not experiencing that, maybe like Thomas, we're, we're still fixed on those outer things, probably the wounds I'm not sitting at this table. That brother of mine said something seven years ago and, and it's going to keep us apart. Or, or I didn't get the biggest piece of pie. I'm unhappy. I, I want so many other things that, that we miss the main thing. We miss the feast of love. Bishop Barron says about being Eucharisticized, the Eucharisticized person understands that their treasure is to be found above, not below. Wealth, pleasure, power, honor, success, titles, degrees are all relativized, are all small as the high adventure of life in God opens up. Could it be that, that while you've been sitting in church and 
reflecting on things at home that, that some grace, some power, the presence of Christ has slowly and gently been changing you from believing life is about dollars and cents or your name to believing it's Eucharist. It's all Eucharist. The giving and receiving of God's own life. If it's just a symbol, to hell with it. But if it's God's power present and at work in our lives, then let's eat and drink at his table today. Amen. If you so believe, please stand and profess your faith. <clears throat> and we use the Apostles' Creed on page 8 in your worship aid. Page 8. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sin, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. In that faith, let us place our needs in the hands of God. Please join in the following intercessions by responding to each. Lord, make us Eucharist. Risen Lord, make us like the church in the book of Acts. As we look beyond the wounds, make our giving and receiving grow so full that there is no needy person among us and we boldly witness your resurrection with power. We pray. Lord, make us Eucharist. Spirit of love, so strengthen those baptized, confirmed, and communed at the Easter Vigil that they are soon able to find real freedom in following your commandments. We pray. Lord, make us Eucharist. Risen Lord, pour out your spirit of forgiveness upon our world that people might look up beyond the wounds to the life of unity and peace you offer us, we pray. Lord, make us Eucharist. Divine Healer, we pray for our sick. Pat Hilpert, Loretta Guzman, Betty Corger, Deanna Jaros, Sue Malepsky, Ray Nass, Richard Zakowski, Mary Tukowski, Margaret Barlow, Betty Strong, Sally Beyer, Mary O'Brien, Chet Shabilsky, Deacon Rick Leto, and Julie Skibicki. And we remember in a special way our loved ones in hospice care, Annette Gosh and Eugenia Heth. Bring them healing, we pray. Lord, make us Eucharist. Lord, over life and death, we pray for our deceased loved ones. We remember Jean Daniels and Judy Jankwart, whose funerals are coming this week. We pray especially for Gary Check, for whom we offer this Mass. May they now give and receive fully with you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We pray. Lord, make us Eucharist. Gracious God, in the giving and receiving of life and love in this church, Change us into the body and blood of Christ. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. For him, for the preparation of gifts can be found in number 13 in your worship aid. I has not seen. Number 13. Sing. <laughs> Thank you. 
teach us the wisdom of God. When pain and sorrow weigh us down, be near to us, O Lord. Forgive the weakness of our faith and bear us up within your peaceful world. with the gifts we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. And in these mysteries, wash away our iniquity, cleanse us of all our sins. Sisters and brothers, pray that your sacrifices and mine will be acceptable to our almighty God. Amen. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that through our profession of faith and through baptism, we may make our way to unending happiness through Christ our Lord. 
The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation to at all times acclaim you, O Lord, but on this day, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sin of the world by dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Now, people of every land exult in Easter joy. Even the heavenly powers and angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all that you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things, and so make all things holy. And you never give up, you never cease to gather a people to yourself that one day from the rising of the sun to its setting a pure offering might be made to the glory of your name. Therefore, we humbly ask, Father, that by that same Spirit you would make holy our gifts we bring to you now for consecration. Let them become the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. On the night he was betrayed, he took bread, giving you thanks said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, giving you thanks, said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, 
which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Until Father, when we remember the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we are moved to offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, See the victim whose death reconciles us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son may be filled with his Holy Spirit and so become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an everlasting gift to you, that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect and know life with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles, glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession we rely for unfailing help. And may this sacrifice, which has made our peace with you, advance the peace and salvation of the world. Strengthen in faith and love your pilgrim church on earth, especially your servant Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Father, listen to the prayer of this family that you have gathered before you and in your compassion gather to yourself all your children still scattered throughout the world. And to our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you from their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Let us live in your peace. By the help of your mercy, may we be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. For the kingdom of Lord, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you. My peace I give you. Lord, look not on our sin. See the faith of your church and grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of Christ be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Peace, Randy. Peace, March. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed those called to share in the supper of the Lamb. May the body and blood of Christ Keep us safe for eternal life. Body of Christ, Adam. Body of Christ, Zechariah. The body of Christ, Lily. The body of Christ, Lily.
please join in singing our communion hymn, number 14 in your worship aid, Table of Plenty, number 14.
and let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that our sharing in this Easter sacrament may continue to have effects in our minds and hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us bless our homebound ministers. Heavenly Father, we have loved ones alone this morning, dealing with wounds and worries through this most blessed sacrament and the open hearts of your ministers. Draw them back up into communion, into Eucharist, into your divine life. We send you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Announcements? Oh, there we go. Nominations for parish council elections are now open. Next weekend, you will have the opportunity to write down your nominations during Mass. You may also nominate by contacting the parish office. We need people who can help us live out our mission to be disciples of Christ, united in worship, welcoming to all, and working for justice and peace. Please remember to leave your worship aid in one of the baskets as you leave. Prayer ministry is available after Mass. If you would like someone to pray with you for any reason, please come to the Vigil Light Candle after our closing song, and they will meet you there. There is also a book where you may write down your prayer requests. Our parish chain will pray for your intentions for a week. Please remember to pick up your Easter prayer books as you leave Mass today. What do those look like? I just, I just happen to have one. <laughs> Thank you. All are invited to continue our fellowship over coffee and baked goods in Spirit Hall after our closing song. But before we go, we will take a moment to recognize March birthdays and anniversaries. Please be seated. I struck out on anniversaries last night. There wasn't an anniversary in the church for some reason in March. Any wedding anniversaries amongst this gathering? Anybody married in March? Oh, very rare you are. Congratulations <laughs> to the Browns. Any birthdays in the month of March? Oh. Very different starting. A good month for the Lord. Congratulations to you. Please, it's all stand birthdays and anniversaries that we might give you a blessing on this remembrance, birthdays and anniversaries. Yeah. Gracious God, we are grateful for all the people from Jesus' time to our own that extended your love to these, your sons and daughters, through whom we know so much light and love pours out to us. Father, in these coming years of life, may they surrender even more fully until we know in fullness the feast you desire us to know. Bless them this way, we pray, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. 
Amen. Please all stand. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon us all and remain with us forever. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Am I right? He is risen. He is risen. He is risen indeed. There we go. Please join in our closing hymn, number 15, in your worship aid. Sing to the mountains, number 15. Sing to the mountains, sing to the sea. Raise your voices, lift your hearts. This is the day the Lord has made. Let all the earth rejoice. I will give thanks to you, my Lord. You have answered my plea. You have saved my soul from death. You are my strength and my song. Sing to the mountains, sing to the sea. Raise your voices, lift your hearts. This is the day the Lord has made. Let all the earth rejoice. Holy, holy, holy Lord, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Sing to the mountains, sing to the sea. Raise your voices, lift your hearts. This is the day the Lord has made. Let all the earth rejoice. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice. Death has lost and all is life. Sing to the glory of God. Sing to the mountains, sing to the sea. Raise your voices, lift your hearts. This is the day the Lord has made. Let all the earth rejoice. Let all the earth rejoice. All right. No candles falling apart.